subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Hello everyone. Today on Lady Mary Bath, we're in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm taking you along to Gas Lamp Antique Mall with two locations, one just around the corner from the other. It's a shopping destination for set designers of a hit TV show and music videos. Can't wait to take you inside for some exquisite treasures. Join me. It's Nashville's largest antique mall. And between the two stores, there are more than 300 booths. And they feature a broad array of decor genres, including Art Deco, Hollywood Regency, mid-century modern, primitive, and even Victorian. There's something for every taste and style. And the staff is quite knowledgeable and they're open every day of the week. Welcome to Gas Lamp Antique Mall. This is the first of two stores we'll visit today. You can take the elevator up or the stairs. And this room is already filled with beautiful artwork and some great finds. Let's go on in and see what they've got for us today. Can't wait to take you inside. And they even have a little snack cafe, which is perfect for the shoppers. And here in this case, I'm already seeing some amazing things, including silver plate, Sheffield, and an unusual item that I actually haven't seen before. We'll get to that in just a minute. And I always turn over silver and look for the hallmark. That's Reed and Barton in the Regent pattern. Lovely tea set, 595 for the entire service and tray. And this is an interesting item that I really have not seen in an antique store before, but I may have seen it in church. I'll tell you all about it. And if you have any insight on this, I would love to hear from you in the comments below. And perhaps you have a different pronunciation. I know in the UK, it is referred to as a lavabo. And this is a vintage lavabo. We already have a unique find here at the Antique Mall. It is a lavabo. If you're not familiar with this, it is used in the ritual cleansing of the celebrant's hands in the Holy Eucharist, the Offertory Mass. This would be from a Roman Catholic or Anglican Episcopal Church. It is in the Greek neoclassical design. This would be wall mounted and then this would catch the water underneath. It's absolutely a fantastic find. It's $324.95. This is really a special set. If there's something you see in the antique store, feel free to contact them. I always include their information in the video description and they could perhaps arrange for a dealer to ship an item to you. The mantle lusters are 395 with the ruffled edge, the gilt embellishment. This would have been from the Victorian era. Lots of treasures inside this case. And the Sheffield tea set I find very interesting with the ebony handles, the oval shape, and the tray is priced separately. It's got a very elegant look about it. $47.50 for the tray. And with any questions, again, feel free to contact the store. They'd be happy to help you in this sugar bowl. A definite must for tea time. And of course, you could do so much with a sugar bowl. You could use it as a vase. There's that hallmark. Sheffield, England. And a pair of chinoiserie floor vases or vases. Lots of great color here. Wouldn't this work in an entryway? Quite a welcome. 1950 for the pair. And this is in the rose medallion pattern. quite stately. I like all the different colors there. It's so vibrant, would work with any season. And I can't say this is something that I find too often. 
stained glass don't you just love the colors and you'll notice that there are a lot of different colors you could work with if you are placing this in a room that even maybe had red you'll see how well that would work or even even an olive green color that would pick up some of the panels $425 for the pair which is quite reasonable there's even a touch of pink and yellow And now we'll take a look in the cases to discover some very special treasures, including sterling silver flatware. There's so many patterns that span over a century. And then of course, hollowware, which would be a bowl, a vase, a serving piece. And this is a brand that actually has an interesting history and ties in with a modern day silver company. This beautiful sterling bowl is labeled Watson. And in case you're wondering about that, it actually has its origins in Attleboro, Massachusetts. And that's a company that started in 1874. And Mr. Watson was one of the founding members. And over time, he became one of the two partners left in the company. Eventually it passed to his son-in-law. And in 1955, he sold the company to R. Wallace and Sons. This is absolutely beautiful with a monogram and lots of embellishment. Fantastic bowl at 225. They've got a great selection of sterling silver flatware and sterling is always a good idea because it is actually antibacterial. You could use it every day. My pattern is the Gorham Strasberg that was made in 1897 and is still popular today. It is two years younger than Chantilly, Gorham's top seller got some beautiful patterns. Chantilly, such a lovely pattern. And here's a glimpse of the Strasbourg by Gorham. You'll see that Rococo design and that large tablespoon. And Wallace Grand Baroque. It's perhaps the company's most famous pattern that was released in 1941. It's a formal three-dimensional acanthus leaf design. Francis I from Reed and Barton, which is their most popular. $25 for that demi toss is really a great price. And there's some patterns that actually look familiar and similar to others. Kirk Steve Repuse is the oldest pattern in the United States. It was started in 1828. Absolutely gorgeous, lots of embellishment. And another pattern that's interesting is the King Richard. And you'll notice that it has shells and scrolls and not a lot of floral. And that's why it's called a king pattern and not queen. Quite a regal pair of salt and pepper shakers. This is in the Gorham Strasberg design. And you'll see that continuous pattern that goes around. And it will have a glass lined salt shaker because salt and silver do not mix. 125 for the pair. And now we'll take a look at estate jewelry. I think after you see some of these treasures, you may not walk into a retail jewelry store again. There's so many great designs from the past and the price is right. Just look at these beauties. So much. Estate jewelry makes my heart sing and there are many reasons to shop secondary market when you're looking to add a piece of jewelry to your wardrobe or even an engagement ring. It is definitely more affordable, it's environmentally friendly, and you get lots of detail and interest that you don't find in modern pieces. Be sure to look for the color and clarity, and this jeweler has given us lots of information. H color, VS1 clarity is excellent, $1,415. 0.75 total carry weight, and I will model this for you to give you an idea of the size. And you could certainly have ring guards made to go with that. And now we're channeling Downton Abbey with that Art Deco era. 14 karat white gold, pendant with floral filigree. Quite a lovely selection. And when you think about it, you really can't go into a jewelry store and find anything like this unless you're working with an estate jeweler. And there's just something about that style. And this dealer gives us lots of information, of course, on the diamonds and the prices are right. The sapphire surrounding that center stone, $1,945. 
absolutely love the sapphire. And here's a fabulous diamond. Let's take a look at that. It's got that filigree Art Deco look. It would be worth flying to Nashville to shop for an engagement ring. Truly, you could pay for your trip as well and have something fabulous. And this emerald and diamond bracelet is absolutely incredible. Let's see, this one is $875. It is marquee cut, Art Deco from the 1920s, and white gold. Really like this. I wish I could have taken this one home. But I'll have to head back to Nashville and do some shopping later on down the road. And here's a newer piece that is a cabochon with many different gemstones that would look great with so many outfits. And of course the 14 karat yellow gold. $1,875. That would be a stunning addition to your jewelry wardrobe. Lots to see in the cases. I encourage you to pop into the store so you can see all the treasures for yourself. And of course I find Waterford Crystal. From the Waterford Crystal timepiece collection in the 90s, this is the Westminster clock. It's got details that reflect the designs of Westminster Abbey. This is in perfect condition and $40 is an amazing deal. I'm taking this home for my friend Mark. I will hand carry this on the airplane and he's delighted to have this to add to his clock collection. As you have probably seen in a previous segment, I featured the Waterford clocks for my New Year's Eve celebration. Many uses for this purposeful item. Sometimes we see treasures in the case and don't quite know how to use this for tabletop. And I actually will tell you all about this and share some of my favorite uses. In the center, there are some reticulated nut cups. Those are individual. And I can see that with a chocolate truffle at each place setting. Don't pass up a toothpick holder when you see it at your local antique mall. Machine-made toothpicks were widely available in the mid-1800s. And before that, the ladies would use one made of ivory or gold. And perhaps the common folk would use one made of a quill or even a whisker. And this can be used for many different purposes. You could fill it with cotton swabs in your guest bath, bobby pins, succulents, a posy vase, and so many other purposes. And to identify a toothpick holder, the toothpicks need to stand tall and upright, and it should, of course, peek out of the top. And individual crudite would be another great idea for this vessel. And now you're probably looking at this with new eyes. And well, that could even be a ring dish. These are quite special, and they're $75 for a set of five. Chantilly Gorham, always beautiful. And this here I wanted to point out, it's something you may not have seen before. With this sterling handle, it's a cake breaker, which is perfect for angel food cake, and it's $40. That would be a great addition to your tabletop collection, and something of interest. And I see another familiar item here in the case that takes me back to my days at Waterford Crystal. Any ideas of what this could be? And of course they've got a hidden gem here in the case, a Waterford Crystal sugar shaker with a silver plated top. It is $68. In 1993, when I started my career with Waterford Crystal, this was $95, and it was my very first purchase with my Waterford account. And of course, you could fill that with powdered sugar for serving strawberries, and traditionally, we suggested this for baby powder in a nursery, although today, I think we're getting away from that. Cinnamon and sugar is another great use for this. I do enjoy collecting baskets, whether it's Crystal or EAPG or Sterling. This is $16.99 and has a beautiful etched floral on either side. You could fill that with some foil wrapped chocolate eggs and bring it as a hostess gift for Easter. Now we're going to step into this booth that is full of crystal treasures. There's so much to share with you here. I just don't know where to start. You may see some familiar pieces, including this classic Waterford crystal cake pedestal. 
It is $149.95. And that is a true beauty. That would have retailed for about $350. And here we have some stems, some of which are retired. And one that is a bestseller. Another classic Waterford pattern that is retired. This is Kildare. It's $312.50 for six glasses. Considering that they're over $100 each today, that's a very fair price. And you'll notice something unique about this. It does not have the classic 16 cuts. We're missing that. That's part of the design. And that's why I did not choose Kildare, but instead I chose Ballyshannon that is a bell-shaped glass with the identical Kildare pattern here. And you do see that sometimes with Waterford with the Maeve and Traymore. And this is a lovely pattern. A set of eight goblets for 398, which is still half of retail. And the Hawk wines are actually quite a bit more. So this is a fair price. And you've probably heard me mention the classic Waterford versus what you can buy today. And I will tell you that the quality is going to be better with the older pieces. These were actually made in Ireland. And today, most of the Waterford is made in Eastern Europe and it's dishwasher safe. I much prefer the classic. Some more of the classic Waterford. This is the Camara. You will notice it has similar cuts to the Powers Court and Traymore, which is identical in design to the Maeve pattern, but it's a little bit shorter, and those are certainly interchangeable. Great selection. Lots of beautiful Waterford crystal patterns inside this case, and I am reaching for the number one stem pattern across all of tabletop, and that is Waterford Lismore. It was created in 1952 by Miroslav Havel from Czechoslovakia. He became Waterford's chief of design drew inspiration for the pattern's signature diamond and wedge cuts from the charm of the nearby Lismore Castle in County Waterford. And compotes are also a favorite I featured in a previous segment. This is the Hanover Gold from Marquis by Waterford. And I hope you have time to talk about clocks because I find so many uses for these. It makes a great gift. You can use them in your tabletop decor even and you can never have too many of them. And their prices are great. That's the Lismore pattern, $79.95. Just love it. Definitely a modern look. The oval is perhaps the oldest one that I see here. They made that in an extra large size as well. And there's the cottage. And a daffodil paperweight, $24.95. This is a great piece for spring. I've incorporated this in a spring table. They also made it in a tulip and a rose. This is the older small cottage clock. You'll see it's a slightly different design. And then that's the modern on the left. I think they're both lovely. Great selection. Some exciting pieces of Waterford here in this booth, new and old. This came out in the 90s, and it is the Winwood pattern. It was one of the five new stems that was also launched when Lucerne came out, if you happen to remember that. It's hard to find. It wasn't on the market for too long. And the Lismore original iced beverage, you'll notice it is not footed. The one today has a stem, and these are definitely hard to find. They've got some great assortment here of many different classic Waterford patterns mixing a bit of vintage and modern here definitely on trend with the ferns and the classic ironstone you get lots of ideas with the cloches as well you may want to take a look at a previous segment where i show you how to actually make a cloche my older daughter loves green and ferns this would be her favorite booth this booth owner is keeping it fresh with some vintage items along with these ferns, which are fabulous. Here's a vintage ironstone pitcher from England, it's $75. And look at that detail here and see how you can actually mix the old and the new for a great look. This is a creamer from a cafe. You can tell that it is more of a restaurant wear. Love that green. And the back stamp says, Meyer China, Beaver Falls, Pennsylvania. It's $8 and see what a wonderful addition this would be to your everyday. 
and I just love the combination, the ferns. You could shop your home and nature to create these beautiful cloches. Get some great ideas. Lots of different dealers here, and there's so much beauty that I just can't share with you today. So I encourage you to come into this store. And now we're going to look at some vintage fashion. Look at all those vibrant colors. Some great fashion in this booth. And look at this 1960s mid-century chiffon dress in that beautiful aqua color with the beading. And this is party perfect for $88. It's a good idea to shop the secondary market, and who would have thought that an antique mall would have some great fashion? If you're celebrating maybe something Hawaiian, poolside, wouldn't this be fun? It's $64, and it is vintage Hawaiian. You could even take that on your Hawaiian vacation. Some great pieces here, and especially if you have a mid-century themed event, wouldn't that be great? Just so many wonderful options here. An amazing ivory satin crossover dress, a Hawaiian luau outfit from the 1970s, and even a Victorian wedding gown. Perhaps this was an everyday dress for a lady of the Victorian era. It could certainly be embraced as a wedding gown. $375. My favorite color combinations here, blue and white with green. I've set lots of tables with this and I see some interesting elements that you could add to it. That classic blue willow and items of interest. When you're setting a sideboard or a table, you want to create an interesting look. And these men are standing tall. Lots of detail here. And let's take a look and see what the price is today. And the set of three is $138. And imagine how you could incorporate that into your decor. This Bordello Pinheiro is calling me. $48 is an excellent price. I thought about taking this home, but I just don't know how to get it on the plane with all my other purchases. And that could be used as a cheese tray or a cake plate. It's definitely on my wish list. And this quiche dish I think is interesting. I've not seen one in Blue Willow before. $40. Pie plate too. Of course you could use it for anything or for serving muffins. It doesn't have to be just for baking, but it is oven safe. And our classic Blue Willow. Globe Pottery made this one. A wonderful world of the classic blue and white chinoiserie. And you'll see that it pairs nicely with seashells and with the green majolica from Bordello Pinheiro, Portuguese pottery. I absolutely adore that look. And this is definitely an affordable way to build a collection. This blue and white ginger jar is $44. Sparkling crystal and some fabulous furniture. On the silver gallery tray, we have a classic Waterford pattern. And there you see some more of that. And the Innisfree. This is a design that I remember in lamps, bowls, and vases. In fact, I have an Innisfree lamp. $129.95 for this lovely flared bowl, which is perfect for fruit as a centerpiece. And the Alana pattern, seven goblets for $314.95. And this has a Caro design. And that's a crisscross intricate diamond cut. Simple and elegant. Have you ever seen a more beautiful sideboard? It's got the inlay, it's absolutely stunning. And here on either side, you've got locked cases and some great storage here for your flatware, teacups, a fantastic piece, $1,995. You can't go to a retail furniture store and find anything of this quality for this great price. A mantle can be incorporated into many areas of your home with or without a fireplace. It's $795. Right next to this beautiful carved wooden mantle, we have a sweet surprise here on a silver plated tray. Rock sharp crystal, I think made by the Libby Glass Company, a set of 12 for $132.95. 
There's so much detail here in the stem, and you're probably thinking, what would I do with the size? Well, of course, that could be for an after-dinner drink, even a sorbet, or perhaps you could place it at the place setting, and you could fill it with jelly beans and maybe a chocolate egg for the party favor. There's a lot you could do, even a nut cup. Get creative with these beautiful vintage stems. Would love to hear from you in the comments below if you happen to have a mantle that you incorporate into various rooms of your home without a fireplace. And here is some more of the rock crystal. And that's one more reason to shop the entire store. These are iced beverages. $110 for a set of nine. That is an excellent price. I would take these home in a heartbeat if I were driving. And these I would use for every day. We have rock sharp that we do put in our dishwasher. And here's some mid-century glasses. No, it's not actually a Fostoria American pattern. It is made by Whitehall. And they made this in several colors. Love this set of six for $72. And I'm especially liking the green goblets. $95 for a set of 12. You can't buy anything retail half as nice for this price. The Noritake Swirl are classic. Those are $10 each. You get a set of 10 for 100. These were also made in different colors and that's a more modern glass. And the Georgian glass is in that mid-century amber, $60. Those are fantastic. Come on in with me to the Gas Lamp 2, the second shop around the corner. And this is a great day. You could even have lunch in between. So much to see. We're going to discover some more treasures inside. So much to discover here. Whether you are decorating a room, looking for a gift, or if you're a set designer, you will find so many ideas here and some affordable ways to add some interest to your look, including a baby grand piano and a mantle luster. This might have been from before it was even electrified, 1910, $375. And they did call these mantle lusters because they were placed there to illuminate the room. This case is full of treasures. I could just stand here for hours and learn about the history of these items and find ways to use these and incorporate these into my everyday. That would be a great vanity tray. And always love the sterling silver. American Brilliant period just gave us so many great pieces including this bowl for $125 it does not have any chips which of course increases the value and the thicker the bowl the deeper the cuts and that actually makes it even more special too sterling silver is quite affordable I find on the secondary market and this compote is an excellent find $85 it's got that Gudrun border, and it's from about 1910. A pair of petite candelabras for 145, which they're very charming, but it could also be a space saver if you have a smaller home or apartment. Even for storage, that makes it easier. And in Europe, something like this would be probably well over a thousand or more. It is quite hard to find sterling silver there, and when you do, it's just not affordable. And that's why I love shopping antique malls. You find some great deals. This clock is extra special. It is a gilt bronze crystal regulator clock, $795. And it looks Art Nouveau from the design. Wouldn't that be a focal point of a room? sweet salt and pepper shakers with sterling tops which is really a great combination because sterling and salt don't mix 48 dollars for the pair and these are from about 1910 as well 45 dollars for the pair now we're in 1920. those are excellent and a creamer and sugar for 85 dollars this would be a great gift if I didn't already have a pair, I would definitely take these home. 
and they are weighted. And always look at the hallmark because you will find out more information about a piece. Could even be a great wedding gift. And a pair of sugar tongs for $65. You could use these for so many different purposes. And they have lots of interesting furniture that we will discover together. And some beautiful tables. Look at this four poster bed. It is quite regal. Empire furniture was inspired by Napoleon after the first French Empire from 1804 to 1814. It was all about size and grandeur. He wanted to show the world the power of France and their influence on style as well, and even in furnishings. I think it's a great price at $1,995. Quite a statement here with the sideboard also from that era. And ruby glass that has been etched Cut to clear, $195 for this decanter. And this is made by Egaman in the Czech Republic, a business still in existence today. Clay pottery is rustic and can really add to certain meals. When you don't want to pull out your fine china to serve chili, this certainly makes sense. And I will share some information on the town where this is made and some of the history. And earthenware can certainly be a great item to have on hand. It's not always about the finery. Hand-painted earthenware made in the Alsace region of France, which at one time was part of Germany. There are 15 workshops still in existence today, and this is all handmade, and it's oven to table. If you've seen my German home tour, you have probably noticed a large terrain very similar to this one in blue. And this is a very good price, $225 for all these pieces. The best part is you didn't have to carry it home in your suitcase. Victorian fire screens are quite interesting. This is $195. They were used to shield people from the light, glare, and heat of a log fire, which could be intense for those seated close to a fireplace. Mahogany nightstands are a must if you're purchasing the Empire bed. $595. And a trio of decanters. Aren't these lovely? The great holder, that'd be perfect for your bar. The Hall of Mirrors I find quite interesting because we learn about the history of the largest mirror there that would have been placed in the entryway. And it was made for a mansion in Murfreesboro, Tennessee nearby called Merrimont, and it was inherited by the family of the original doctor, and they believe it was installed in 1885, 3,500. And here we see everything, including the kitchen sink. Some great ideas to take an old cabinet or dresser and incorporate that into your kitchen vanity and make it purposeful. And a sink should be beautiful because it's something that you use every day. And this company can make it happen for you. And the price is around $900, depending on the item. And perhaps you could even bring one of your pieces in for them to mount for you. It's certainly worth a call. I will link them in the video description. I like the marble top here in that square sink. The Jane, 1425. Modern heirloom, what a great idea to upgrade your vanity, bathroom, and even kitchen island with an antique piece such as a dresser or even a phonograph cabinet. You can have a drop-in sink or even an above mount, and this would be a really neat way to add some interest to your home. A mid-century dream a pair of his and hers gondola chairs. Now you can see why the set designers want to shop here. They've got an amazing selection from so many different eras, and this is classic mid-century by Craft Associates for Adrian Pearsall. And I imagine they're quite comfortable. Aren't those neat? 
And here's another chair that is definitely mid-century with that tweed and arms, $895. Looks very architectural, doesn't it? And some treasures here in the cases. And this is Jasperware. Many different companies made Jasperware. It's not necessarily Wedgwood, although it does look like Wedgwood. It's a tricolor potpourri vase, very rare, 1,250. It's almost like looking into a museum case, isn't it? Such detail. And that soft sage green. These are definitely antiques, and that's on a pedestal. 1,250, and this is antique Wedgwood, 19th century. Here's some more 19th century in Baccarat crystal barware. Everything is intact. What an amazing set. The Tantalus liqueur set in the bronze and glass case. You see that bamboo detailing. And a break front that would be purposeful for so many rooms in your home. And this happens to be Henredon, which is the premier U.S. furniture maker, $3,300. And that might be closer to eight or 10,000 retail for Henredon. Seashell lamps, we had those in the early 80s. And I wanted to highlight the lamps because there are some that are quite affordable. Look at this etched crystal, $65. If you're just looking for one and you don't need a pair, I think this would be a fantastic deal. Great addition to any room of your home. And the shade is in great condition. Of course, that's a newer piece. And here we have an array of chinoiserie. Ginger jars, vases. Makes quite an impact together. You see those touches of nature with the green. And the lamps are fantastic. A vintage cake stand. One of my collections that I have, and I just wanted to share this with you, made by Adams and Company from about the 1880s, and it is EAPG, $135. And if you're looking for a new collection to start, I highly recommend the vintage and antique cake stands. They're purposeful. From the Cambridge Glass Company is that gorgeous candlelight pattern. These vintage ice beverages are from about the 1930s. And there are even some dessert plates. What a wonderful way to set your table with something from the past. And so elegant. This gorgeous centerpiece bowl is quite special. And I want to tell you all about it. This is a true masterpiece. It is signed by Jim O'Leary. And this Waterford trifle bowl is one for the books. Look at that fan cut. Jim was known for this, inspired by the doors of Dublin. And Jim was my friend. We traveled together with Waterford Crystal and his memory lives on in all of his beautiful designs. And at $345, that's an excellent price. This would have been probably closer to about 800 or more retail. And it's absolutely amazing and I hope that someone takes this home. Simply gorgeous. This classic gold banded pattern could be from the 1800s or modern day. It's actually the Belvedere that was launched by Royal Dalton in 1969 and retired in 1981. $450 for the set is a very good price and even if this is not your pattern, you could certainly start a tabletop collection with it. Wedgwood made the beautiful Queensware pattern. There's an interesting history with this. I encourage you to watch a previous segment called The Dish Hunt, where I explain the royal connection. For $225, you get a teapot, creamer and sugar, and 12 cups and saucers. That is a very good price. Waterford Crystal's sculptor was Fred Curtis, and this is one of his fantastic pieces. $245 for the Eagle, also very patriotic. Would be a good men's gift as well. These urns are interesting because they are not only exquisite, but they're made in the GDR, 
the German Democratic Republic in the Rococo style, made between 1949 and 89, of course, during the time of East Germany. And what's interesting is the finery was always sent to the Soviet Union and what they kept within East Germany was actually more of a dialed down version and not quite as exquisite. And that's what makes these interesting. Here we've got a lovely sideboard with some interesting blue and white. And look at the addition of that Sheridan teapot. We've got some natural elements. I'm always looking for ideas in creating a sideboard and something of interest. And I like the additions here. Antique crotch mahogany sideboard from an English country estate. $4,284. And you see that urn motif there below that drawer. Swung vases. They come in many shapes and sizes. We've talked about this in the Houston Glass Show. And these are actually carnival glass from Fenton. $89 in the marigold. Also mid-century. I just love cut to clear and I have to highlight these cranberry glasses. Look at the detail. I have to tell you more about it. Next to the Royal Dalton Balloon Cellar, we have some exquisite cordials. These are made by the Nachtmann Crystal Company. It was founded in Bavaria, Germany in 1834. In 2004, they eventually sold to Riedel, another glass company. And you'll see lots of detail in the stem as well. And these cranberry glasses are in the Taube pattern, which means grape in German. And they are exquisite. You could certainly use these for liqueurs for after dinner, or maybe even if you had a single one for mouthwash. And maybe put a flower inside and use that as a place card holder. I've had a great time today shopping both locations of gas lamp antiques. And here's a lovely Waterford Crystal Aragon vase, a very good price at $94. And I've seen some wonderful estate jewelry, china crystal silver furnishings, and I've gotten some great tips on styling a buffet even. You learn a lot when you shop your local antique mall. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Bath. Elevate your everyday with antique shopping. <laughs>